give myself away I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away I give myself away so you can come on let him know I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away what would happen if a generation embraced this Come on, tell me. Here I am. Here I am.
Hi, my name is Simone Ball and I'm a first year student at Caribbean Baba Institute. I've been here for the past six months and it has really been very good. Um, the idea to come to Bible school came from wanting to know more, more about God, you know, being able to explain when I'm asked the hard questions, um, you know, to answer people, especially I'm at work and get these questions all the time. So I thought it fit just to come to Bible school, you know, an apostolic Bible school also because we're apostolics. And um, so I'm encouraging you also just to come. It's really a very good experience. It's a rich experience. It's like going to church. You know, we have our prayer, we have our prayer meetings, we have devotions in the evenings. Um, the classes themselves, you know, they can get really excited when you know, we talk about God and the goodness of God. There's especially this course, Personal Evangelism. It's like a major testimony service where we always start by giving our testimonies and that is really good. You see how some people came to the Lord. So I'm encouraging you to come, to learn, to grow, you know, to invest in your spiritual life because that's really what it is all about, us investing in our spiritual life, not just saying things based on, you know, what we think they are, but really saying them based on knowledge, you know, based on studies. And we have experienced teachers here who are pastors and ministers and they really impart to us, you know, they explain, they spend time to go through. Um, sometimes they'll break and give you, you know, life, life skills, you know, life lessons. So it's not all just about the book, 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 but they, they will really give up themselves. So I'm encouraging you again to please come to Caribbean Bible Institute. You will not regret it. Blessings everyone. My name is Jeffrey Hall, a member of Providence Chapel United Pentecostal Church located in St. James. It is said, if you want to know God's will for your life, then find out what God is up to and then see how you can fit into that. And that is why I attended Caribbean Bible Institute. It has been very spiritually rewarding. Please know that it is a lonely place where God makes men. So don't look at anybody. You come on down and you will be blessed by attending. Everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ, my name is Maurice Dawson. I worship at Pentecostal Tabernacle Church. I attend Caribbean Bible Institute. I'm a second year student and it has been a wonderful experience so far. God has been good. I came with the desire to know God's will for my life. And it has taught me to have a devotional life which would aid me to find out God's will for my life. I would encourage everyone who wants to know God's will and God's purpose for their life, come to Caribbean Bible Institute. This is the place for you to discover your purpose and will for Greetings everyone, my name is Kay Marie Larmon, I'm from Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle. I am a member of the Caribbean Bible Institute. The reason why I came to Bible Institute was because I want to get a better understanding of the Word of God and so far the Lord has been opening my understanding to a lot of things. So I implore everyone who wants to get a better understanding of the Word of God come to CBI. CBI is a place where you know God for yourself as Lord and Savior. Come to CBI. God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Carlington Howard. I'm a member of the Emmanuel Apostolic Church on 12 Slack Road. I became a member of the Caribbean Bible Institute on September of last year. It has been a tremendous experience because before I, I would come across scriptures that I would wonder, what is this scripture really saying? And I always wanted to know the contextual setting of a particular verse or what was life like in those times. And coming to Caribbean Bible Institute has opened up my understanding to what the, the, the scriptures are saying and to what God is articulating from his heart. So I would implore everyone, come to Caribbean Bible Institute. If you want to know who God is, the measure of his power towards you and his love, come to Caribbean Bible Institute. God bless you. God bless you. My name is Ronald P. Smith, pastor of Faith Tabernacle United Pentecostal Church in the hills of St. Andrew, affiliated with the United Pentecostal Church of Jamaica. I've been ministering for over 30 years, but pastoring for 30 years. And I've been teaching at CBI for the past eight years. I'm also a product of the Caribbean Bible Institute. I've spent three years in CBI 
and I've graduated with a Bachelor of Theology and I have found it teaching at CBI to be of a great delight in watching students coming and going through the system and have come now to be ministers and become more effective in their ministry and I'd like to encourage you and just about everyone to develop a love for the Word of God and if you have the call of God upon your life CBI is a place for you to be you can never make a better choice than to come to CBI and this will help to mold you and to make you for the ministry which God has called you and to help you to take you to a higher place Praise the Lord Jesus. My name is Gerald Smith. I've been a minister with the United Pentecostal Church for the past 18 years and have been teaching at the Caribbean Bible Institute, CBI, for over six years. The courses I teach are Pauline Epistle, General Epistle, and the exciting Oneness of God. I believe that CBI is not just an ordinary institution. It's a tertiary level institution and should be treated as such. It's an inst institution where you come to learn the fundamental doctrine of Christ, but also to build upon the fundamental doctrine, to become critical thinkers. CBI is for persons who have a call of God on their life, but it's also for persons who simply want to extend themselves in terms of uh, Bible knowledge, those who want to learn more about Jesus Christ. One of my greatest experience is to see a student who comes in as a novice concerning the oneness of God and receives a revelation of who Jesus Christ really is. An experience that can let you run around in a circle. I believe that CBI is the place for any student or any person who wants more of God in their life. Someone who dies for a cause. The Son of God was more than a martyr. He was our substitute. Jesus was the way God became our substitute. Now Jesus was not just our substitute because of a far-fetched reason. He's a substitute because through the Son of God, God became our kinsman. And if we understand the laws of God, that redemption can only properly be done by a kinsman. A total stranger cannot redeem you. It would take a near kinsman to redeem you. If you even remember the story of, of Ruth and Naomi, right? And when uh, her, her two sons died, children and mother, they left Orpha and Ruth, right? When Orpha went back home, Ruth stayed with Naomi. When she went back to Bethlehem, right? No ordinary man in Bethlehem could marry her and allow her to, to remain in, in the same uh, lineage. To remain in the same lineage, it would her, her, her buying back would have to be take would have to take place by a person who is a near kinsman, somebody who is related to the person to whom she was married to. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So she was married to to Marlon, right, and Boaz was near kinsman to Marlon because. He was related to Naomi's husband. So he would be uh, Marlon's probably uncle. Right? So the nearness of that kinsman means that he could purchase back what Marlon would have lost through death. But remember the story carefully. There was another kinsman who was nearer to Marlon. He would have to refuse to purchase. Right? And he did refuse, and that is how Boaz could then marry Ruth. And we know that this is history, the lineage of Jesus coming through. Right? So, Jesus 
God could not just become a man because the kinsmanship would not be near enough. You had to come out of the lineage of the human race for him to qualify to be a near kinsman to buy us back. Right? And so through the Son of God, God achieved the purpose of becoming near kinsman. Right? In the Old Testament, right, the property of a man could be purchased only back by a near kinsman. So, Jesus became our brother, according to Hebrews chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. He qualified himself to be our kinsman redeemer. So not just our near kinsman, but the one now, because you can be a near kinsman, but you refuse to be the redeemer. Because there was a, another redeemer, another kinsman in the story of Ruth and Naomi. But he refused to be the, to be the redeemer. Right? So being a near kinsman is not just enough, but you must be willing to be the redeemer. So Christ knew that when he came, he said the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. He took upon himself and recognized that his role was not just to be like man, or not just to come out of man, or not just to be God identifying himself with man, but be willing to be the Redeemer. And I'm telling you, it was a heavy way. If you consider the agony of Gethsemane, you see the human nature in Christ coming on. When he actually said, Father, if it is possible, find another solution. Because the agony of death, being God incarnate, he could already feel and foresee his own agony. It was not something that was hidden from him, even though he was a man, because he was God in kind. So in the garden, he could actually see and was actually saying, if there was another way, you would choose. I want y'all to help us do it. Lift your hands in this atmosphere and say, I am grateful. For the things that you have done. Look at him and tell him, yes, I'm grateful. The victories that we've won. 
tell him I could go on and on. I About your works. About your words. Because I'm grateful. Because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful to praise, to praise you, Lord. Lift your hands and say, flowing from my heart. 